So, welcome to Tenebra, a horror game, maybe, maybe using the Half-Life 2 Episode 2 engine, I believe. So, apparently this was made, I think, by one of the ex-developers oh, at Valve. So, let's just run right into it. I actually wanted to play this for Halloween or somewhere around that, but uh, jeez. Where am I? Oh, this is a cutscene. There are people who like me. Even love me. Is that? And I love them. Is that you, Jensen? But no one really knows anything about me. Not even my wife and kids. Being friendly doesn't mean you're a nice guy. You know, people are dumb. Suits me just fine. Back in the days when I was patient, I would let them come to me. I would spend hours waiting, observing. But I ran out of patience quite a while ago. There were so many important things left to do, and I felt I was running out of time. I can be quite gentle when I do my deeds. And I'm meticulous when it comes to details. And even though I got carried away once in a while, I never did something bad. Uh, it does sound like uh, Elias to fixes. Uh, the voice actor of Adam Jensen. Behold, I thank you out. Sheep in the midst of wolves. I don't know if this game is subtitled, so I'm just going to check it out in the menu. Real. Oh, I can actually move. Yeah, well, let's, let me check. Audio, speakers, English captions, closed captions. Oh, so that's a long way. They just go for close captions. Uh, sometimes they don't. They don't even. They don't even uh, set those properly. Uh, what I say by that is that sometimes they set up these subtitles in one big file, and they are no different from other sounds like jumping or water or whatever. So just play safe with the general subtitles. You know, I really like the Half-Life engine, and I want to make a game in Source 2, but god damn it, Valve. Just release the thing. I don't care if you remake Half-Life 2 and all the episodes into Source 2. I don't care if we don't get Half-Life 3, but just make Source 2 available, please. Because I'm amazed what you can do with Source. And it still looks good. I mean, of course, you cannot compare with uh, Unreal 4 or Crytek or. What was the other? Unity? Eh. <laughs> okay, everyone is mean to Unity, but it's pretty good. Just that nobody knows how to use properly. Uh. You can use. Alright. That's why you know that I'm, I'm hitting the use key. So what is this game about? I have no idea. Some say it's a horror game. Some say it's just an atmospheric experience. Maybe both. Thing is, we're going to find out. Um. I just wish I had a flashlight, but I guess it's. I guess the idea of this looking like Limbo is part of the experience. <laughs> However, I do think that maybe I have to do a lot of, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but the photography style where you, <laughs> you use two thirds of the screen to look at the sky and one third to look at the ground. Okay, I mean the thing, 
Billy, you you want me to be here, I guess. Hello? Uh, this looks a little rough. Well, let's look somewhere else meanwhile. I hope this game is not too heavy on puzzles and whatnot. I don't know how much time I can be recording this, unfortunately. This game is looking pretty good. Is that something in the ground? Oh. Can you use? Oh. That looks like a murder scene. Maybe my guy is a killer. And this is Rainbow. Well, I don't know. Speaking of voices, I mean, it's not like I can change my voice, but I wish I didn't sound so nasal. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't hate my voice, but I just wish it could sound a bit different. But I guess that's the thing when doing Let's Play, I guess. I mean, does Markiplier always sound like he sounds all the time? I think he helps himself a little by voice acting when he plays. I cannot really find shape or form. Uh, whatever. I'm guessing it's kind of like, <laughs> I guess it's kind of like half in time. I need to get close, and the spirits will show me the way. How is that like half in time? Um, I think I made it to general, but normally when you go to the uh, vaults, uh, a little flashing light just gets gets out to show you exactly where the tickets or whatever combination number is. Yeah, let's go into the. Abandoned house. Thank you, Pixie. Wait, oh, there it is. Again, I cannot exactly find shape or form to this. Well. Oh no, his, his Clint Eastwood's going out to kill me. <laughs> be lucky, punk. Oh. Sorry, maybe I should be taking this game a little more, more serious. But I'm a funny guy, I cannot help it. <laughs> that is highly debatable. <laughs> Alright. Let's just go. So I'm running this game on window mode. Normally I use window mode with full screen just so it doesn't take completely over the desktop and recording is more easy like that. But I think this is an older version of Half-Life or well it just doesn't have the borderless window option. So here I am running kinda ever so roughly almost the size of the screen but I can still see my desktop. So yeah. Uh, it's incredible what you can do with this source engine, let me tell you about that. So, that's why I would love Valve to use release source too, man. You can do whatever fixes you can, you want to do along the way, just release it. Please. I want to make my game, Val, and Unreal Engine 4. It's looking pretty, pretty delicious over there, but uh, I want to... I want to I want to do it with Valve. Valve, Valve's game. <laughs> it doesn't make games no more. Double negatives. I mean, I know, I know this channel is not one to be playing scary games. 
Boot Source, Scary Games, Half Life Scary Games. Now that's something we can get into. I think this game is more simple. Oh, look at this noir setting. Ah. Well, looks like Half Life, alright. Ah. And getting the shields. I wonder what type. Sweet dreams are made of this. What could it possibly mean? <laughs> okay, stop stop playing. You're gonna get spooked. And then it's not going to be so funny for you. Well for you it will be for myself, not much. Hmm. Expecting something to appear sometime. It's just that. Oh, can use. This is still locked. Hello? Yeah. What? Oh man! Please tell me it was me just walking around. You know, I know it's like uh, 11 a.m. in the morning, and everything's light, light up. But there's something about the immersion that sometimes is like I forget I'm playing a game. Hello, you're taking a shower. Hope you don't mind me peeping. What the? What the hell is? That? <laughs> Hello. You're not gonna hurt me, right? Ooh, it's those noises. Uh, I'm not really liking them. That's still locked. I mean, what a, what a disgusting place. What is this always here? Man, do you want to get Donkey Punch? Hello? <laughs> That was so nice. Are you two occupied? Okay. Can sit back later. Is that the sound of a bell? Is that the sound of a uh, freaking. Uh... Well, it's not the chainsaw. <laughs> the saw. The. I wasn't expecting to get into, but here we are. Hello, PT. <laughs> I didn't have the chance to play it because I didn't have a PS4 back then. <laughs> Oof. I guess we complete the source edition one. Does it help if I if, <laughs> if I think I'm playing as Gordon Freeman? Not much. Oh, this looks messy. That is that a toy? Oh no! I got start, man. Oh, what's this? Um, on one part, I don't think this game is just gonna be throwing jump scares, but uh, I mean, that will be too cheap. But uh, on the other side, I, th I think it's not far from that. Yeah, man, just keep walking in the dark uh, basement, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Either two things will walk in the dark. Either it's ghost, or you step on something that you shouldn't be stepping. Well, maybe it's time for me to go back. You know, I think. Uh,
and I can jump. Oh man. <laughs> I don't feel too comfortable playing this. Even though it's not full screen, imagine playing this with VR. I don't have a VR headset. I was thinking the dog isn't there anymore. No, he's still here. I'm sorry, doggy. You deserve better. <sighs> it's time to. It's time to draw the last player question. What am I supposed to do? Uh, maybe. I'm just supposed to keep the ASMR experience going on for a little while more. <laughs> hey, there's the platforming. There's a sliding. I'm thinking, was the thing in the bathroom where you really find a guy? And that was it. Hello? I mean, I don't expect this game to be too complicated. In anything. Uh, hello? Um, what are you? Uh, we're going with me, I guess. You give me the shields, but maybe you can help me. Wait, was that thing following me around in the dark? I mean, I don't appreciate you doing that. It's kind of like an NPC, though. Maybe I can just push you all the way to the door to you. Proceed. Well, I guess you just, you don't move from this area, right? Really? Well, it's gone now. The little check out. <laughs> okay, not. Maybe, maybe the answer is so simple and you just want me to walk this way, right? Nothing bad can possibly happen. Nope. Not here. Hmm. Like, uh, yeah. I find interesting that it's not exactly black and white. It's like uh, black and an even shade of bluish grayish. So it looks uh, different. I'm just black. Oh, well, how nice of you. You opened the door. Please don't shank me. Well, oh well, shit. Here we are. Is that something? No. Ah, uh, well, here we are again. It's always such a pleasure. You remember when you tried to shank me twice? That's locked. Maybe we can open this. Why do I torture myself playing these games? <laughs> these spooky games. Um. Sweet. Ooh, baby. <laughs> well, the bed is gone. That's what happened when you don't pay your bills to the bank. Ah, uh, no, yeah, man. <laughs> sure. Mm hmm. Hey, I have some questions, man. Creepy man walking in the dark. Come back. <laughs> the famous last words. Only a few days prior to the killings, the owner of the farm told neighbors.
members that he had discovered footprints in the mud leading from the edge of the nearby forest to the stable, none leading back. He also spoke about hearing footsteps in the attic and finding an unfamiliar pair of shoes on the property. Furthermore, some items, such as the house keys, went missing a few days before the murders. Exactly what happened on that Thursday night cannot be said for certain. It is believed that their youngest daughter was lured into the barn, and then, probably after her, the police made great efforts in investigating the disappearance of young Elizabeth. More than a hundred suspects have been questioned so far, but to no avail. No subtitles. So I guess this game doesn't have them. Uh, missing an opportunity. I think I think it's really important regarding media and everything else, the accessibility. Uh, some titles will and some titles help a long way. Hey man, what the hell is this? That's Oh Do you catch my game or oh Yeah man you don't look too good <laughs> <laughs> That's so dumb. I mean, hey man. I mean, <laughs> it was like, oh, the game crash. It's like, it's like out of the world experience. I don't know how to say it. Like four wall experience. You want to pull a Flowey or Monica on me? No, it's <laughs> just Sur's doing his thing again. Ah, here we are. Hey there, forest cre creatures. Gonna help me find myself again. I really need your help with this one. I wish I could jump. But the, I think the author knew about the reverse bunny hop, so. <laughs> didn't want to risk it. I think I didn't break my legs. Also, I'm not as, after playing this game a little. I don't expect it to. Uh, I don't expect it to kill me. So, what do I mean by that? I don't expect this game to give me a gun and then start running and shooting and making game overs or losing health part of these gameplay mechanics. So, just scares, I guess. Girl, there. Well, that's subtitle. Hey there. Oh man, that's kind of gruesome. I guess you didn't have too much luck, buddy. Sorry. It just happens. Let me get out. Let me get the freak out of here. Yeah, man. Don't worry. Just I gonna I gonna run. Just, just hope to see these light beams in the sky. I'll just take it from there. Mm, this is giving me a Slendy Toby vibes. The spookiest game. Slender, the spookiest game. Well, I mean, we can trash talk Slender all we want. We can Slender, Slender. <laughs> but it kind of helped to push the. Uh, the direction of horror games. It's not like the definitive games that define it all, but more like what is what makes games scary and start walking from there. That type of stuff. Don't you like when I recreate Ocarina of Time? <laughs> well, but the channel is not a. Uh... It's not the stranger to have life games. I mean, Left 4 Dead, Real Monsters. That's it. Hello! I can see Jack with my, de my determination will pull us through. Oh, well, I just had silly me. I cannot find shape or form. But that's not for us to judge, anyways. On to the next one. 
if I can get out of this place, damn it. Like I said, I really like have the Half-Life engine. I think the game looks pretty good, even if you play it right now. I think the only thing that could hold Half-Life as of right now, maybe the texture and model quality, but I guess that can be easily rem remedied, fixed. Point is, it wouldn't take much to actually make it modern. But there's a lot of mods of Half-Life that try to do that and it doesn't exactly just work well like the uh, FX mods 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 because sometimes they do a just a terrible job at it and it's like we try to put too much into it when only uh, what may Half-Life look pretty good is kind of the austerity like not trying to do all the all the modern effects and try to put them. It's like just keep it modest and simple. I mean, Half-Life once it looks good. You could play it and and feel like you're playing a really solid game. Even visually, like everything looks proper with the time. Feeling lucky, punk. I mean, what I mean by that. I mean, if you play Saints Row 2, the world looks really low poly, and the models look really high poly, and high poly not a good way. <laughs> so like they were they were not modeled properly. But they have like one. I mean, the world looks low poly, the characters look low poly, and everything is cohesive and congruent. That's the word I'm looking for. Half Life 2 does the same, and a lot of games do do that. That Something looks too high poly for its time, and it doesn't age well, and I think Half-Life does it just fine. Now, where the hell do I go? Maybe I just look at the sky or something. Last time it was like a, uh, like a, like a little, little shining ball in the sky. Huh, I wasn't paying too much attention to the sky, it looks pretty nice, kind of like a paper. I'm trying to get into the circle of rocks. But you're just not letting me, man. <laughs> Guys, talk of the rocks, man. Can make it. <laughs> so, we Counter Strike look good in the future? I mean, seeing it's a source game and all. Well, if they make another map other than Dust 2, sure! <laughs> Man, there's nothing for me here. Oh, well, there's the lighting pole. Just, uh, just over yonder, right now. Uh, let's try to take the same around. I mean, I, I must say, I really like, like, two clicks Philips video, three clicks Philips, one clicks. I really like his videos, like, of course they are made properly, like, he has a script, he records what he needs to record, he has the proper footage. It's not like, hey guys, what's going on? I'm just going to put some Counter Strike surfing in the background while I talk. It's like everything has visually. There's there's visual elements to what he's talking about, so. It looks good. And he does his. I guess he, it helps that he's an English man, so he has the accent. <laughs> Ain't that a thing? But um, yeah, I was talking about about the maps of for Counter Strike. I did a long texty comment about that, and I commented that it will help Counter Strike to have more variety, a variety of maps, like different looking maps, other than just Dusty, Dusty One, Dusty Two, Dusty Three, and so on and so forth, like. I mean, when they do like the remix, like for uh, for new and all that, you can see how good you can look on that engine. And that's what saying, what the hell is that? Hey man, the can <laughs> can't roach. Hey man, hope you don't mind me. Just trying to find myself, and then you can help me. So like a ninja waterfall or something. 
No. No. Uh, where am I? Where is this place? Oh, sorry. Where is this place? Never asked for this. <laughs> Stop, just pay attention. Oh, look, subway. Is this left for dead? Oh. Is this cry of fear? It's more left for dead. It's sure, yeah, because you deserve it. What? No. I think the worst thing ringing from. Yes, only call cell phones, collect calls. For them. Okay. <sighs> so lonely. It's difficult for games to do a uh, proper solitude ambience. Hello? Getting the chills here. The Venus. Nah, man, forget you. He's gonna. He's gonna look backwards slowly. Hope you don't mind me. Is that a freaking football? And I'm saying football. Screw that soccer shit. Nah, you, you ain't got me. Well, whatever. Now I'm going to the train tracks, little kid. No. Oh, what the hell was that noise? I trust him in looking back. Let's look back. Hello. I don't think I see anything. Is that someone standing over there? That looks like someone standing over there. Now, nah, man, you, you do you, man. I uh, just, uh, just gonna get out of here, you know. That's that's something. That is something because that shit is moving. Can I even open the door, anyways? Okay, man. I see you over there. Oof, no. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't do this to me, though. Oh, there's more. No. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is scary. Nah. I mean, I was saying that I think this game is not like, uh, like far away. F What's the word I'm looking for? It's not stranger to use jump scare. I mean, the big guy like went to blank, then he was just shaking around. Like, it wasn't scary, but it just means that they are going to do that sometimes again, sometime again later. Hey, look, little ball. Just, just keep, uh, just keep uh, chugging itself around, you know. It's just a, just a little ball, nothing weird about it. Ah oh, man... Let's leave it alone. Is it open now? I can go this way. Woohoo, I'm getting chills. But, I'm going to be safe. It's going to be safe, man, don't worry about it, just uh... The train over there always, or whatever. Kids don't go through the train, to the train tracks. It's just difficult. Ah oh, man, tunnel just my thing. Just what I always wanted. Good old Half Life. Oh, but uh, freaking Half Life had a lot of scares and freaking vents. Just walking my own way, man. Just uh, my own redemption and shh. Someone picking the side, the other side. Nah, man, you keep picking, alright? But stay away. I don't hear myself walking, man. Oh. It's gonna. Mmm, you did this on purpose. Oh god damn it! <laughs> Remember 
Oh, well, I told you this game was... <laughs> Wasn't gonna throw jump scare and kill me. Uh, forget me. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. Oh my God! What the hell is that? <laughs> Oh, is that the shadow again? Leave me alone, man. No, man, I'm just going to hide in this corner, and everything's going to be a okay. Fem last word. Can't see nothing, man. Get out of here. Stupid amnesia. You just slide away, man. Slide along. Well, if this lo doesn't look like a cozy place. Wait, so I have to wait that thing to go on patrol. So I can go over there. I think I already went to the uh, left side, so let's just wait. Uh, wait, um, is that what I is that what I think it is? Sure looks like looks like a fat guy having some time, some, having some time with someone else. Whoever that someone else isn't looking to <laughs> doesn't look like having a great time. Oh boy, well we went there, so let's get out of here. It's just the visual representation that you think it is. If you think that is, then that's what's on your mind, man. You know, if you're hungry, you're going to think of bread. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I know what I saw. Hey, man. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. You don't have a head. I mean... Wait, what is that? Oh, boy. <laughs> Hey bro, you okay man? Just ch checking <laughs> checking your piece of work, man. You know, you could think, hey, it's dark. I can see Jack. But shouldn't the killer not be able to see too? I don't want. I, I don't want both at a decent disadvantage. Oh, he can use the darkness, and I cannot. Eh. Ah, uh, caves. Half Life Two, Episode Two favorites. So, uh, whatever this guy is, uh, he probably uh, killed someone, he had quote unquote fun with it. And, well, yeah, here we are. <laughs> then, who are we? <laughs> I need to kill the demons. No, John, you are the demons. Oh, whatever. Let's just go to these uh, suspiciously phallic uh, shapes. We'll see around here and say your farewells. Yeah, someone sitting over there. That looks like someone sitting over there. Hey, man! Whatever. Oh, the zero there. We're back on Half Life 2. That looks like the zero there, though. He's so shiny. It was a fat guy violating a poor woman. Um, did she have like a bob on the mouth? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! 
The symbolism is too good. <laughs> I guess explaining exactly what I think, what I think it is, we just ruin it. So enjoy yourself, everyone. <laughs> Hello, gamers. Welcome to that one show. Is it what I think it is, or is it Ness being sans? But that's just a theory, a <laughs> game theory. I'm not responsible anymore. Thanks for watching. What an asshole. <laughs> it's no secret that I'm not a fan of game theory. I don't remember. I don't think the first episodes used to be more. I don't know. Reasonable. But then it became a spiral of its own hubris. And he were with the 69th episode of Five Nights of Freddy's. <laughs> the final episode, I swear. But I need to pay that rent, so. <laughs> Part 1 out of 2. <laughs> well, here's the thing I don't, I don't blame the guy. And I wish him the best. I mean, finding a. Finding, finding a job that gives you sustainability. Not easy, my man. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Guess we just turned this into Metal Gear now, huh? What the hell are you, though? Oh, uh, oh, my boy! <laughs> what is niche? Oh, no! Is that a quick save in this thing, by the way? Keyword. word. Quick save. This one. Quick load. This one. Ah! Uh, Does it work though? Ooh, if it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't, my boy, it doesn't. You know, why do we need to go over there when we can just, uh. Can you just take a left and just get it going, my man? Oh, look, you can actually see the, the thing over there. Oh, wait, you can actually see a freaking uh, broken geometry over there. My man, come on. So you were a. <laughs> so you were a valve mapper. Oh, that explains. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm being an asshole. Uh, just minor details. I mean, if you're the only one person play testing this, well, of course, something is going to. It's going to go. You know. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So they just go on the rails, but you know it's time to rise on sails. It's freedom like you never knew. No, you shitting ass. This is going to be um quite annoying. Maybe I should take my time. How long is this game, anyways? Whatever. Just be careful. I just wish everything wasn't completely dark. Oh, now you're rotating, you jerk. What happened? What happened last time? Were you comfortable? That's gonna get too close. Hello. Is that a head in the grass? It could be. I mean, <laughs> that's up to interpretation, really. Oh, you're not there anymore. Cool. Oh, the hell do I get back up? Oh, forget it. Uh, where am I? This is a classroom from 98. But why? Well, whatever the case. I look little, 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 little drawing over there. Huh. España. Madrid. Hostia, tío. <laughs> El tornado, Willy. <laughs> Aprovecha el bug, Willy. <laughs> yeah, I am sash. <laughs> I'm just gonna take over here. Oh, my me. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 
Oh, wow, well, wow, well, wow, well, my, my friend was just playing a hell in time. Well, what a coincidence. You don't look suspicious. Little princess. Hmm, anatomy, cool. I just hear Half-Life fumbling sounds. This one's locked. How about this one then? Oh, ew! No, little princess! I don't know that you had fun. Oh, whatever. Um... You need some private time, my man. Because from what I from what I seeing, I think you need some private time. Well, I give it that to you. Yeah, I guess he's well. <sighs> Every day is Father's Day, cool. Yeah, man, true. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. This is kind of dark. Do I want to be here, though? Not so sure. Not so sure. Not so. I'm not so sure. So sure. I <laughs> should not look. Explore, explore the dark room. Cool. Can I just keep glasses in peace? I mean, uh, the other teacher looks kind of freaky. What? <laughs> what is masturbating in the classroom? I'm not so sure I want to work here. <laughs> Blow the floor. Teacher, little princess, is not looking kind of. It's looking kind of kind of pale, though. Anything else? Well. I mean, and you just keep doing it. I'm, well, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> okay. Hello, like, could you some help? Now this, <laughs> now this, I could use some help. Ah, uh, every day is Father's Day. Oh my man, my man, this is not looking, oh, um, oh, we went there, we, I mean, I was thinking it did, but I'm like, did it really did, I mean, more, most likely because no one uh, dares to touch this approach, ah, touch this approach, god damn it, no one dares to uh, talk about these things. No one did for a reason. Hey man. Well, I think what I'm going to say is that these are really touchy subjects and normally no one wants to uh, uh, risk of doing them. And what do I personally think about it? Well, it is what it is. And why do we want to turn a blind eye to things that could... Well, to things that happen, actually, so... I think keeping it in a taboo is not doing good either. You see it like this and it looks like a face. Or oh, whatever. So what did we learn? <laughs> Don't be touching kids. <laughs> Don't be an asshole. <laughs> it doesn't take too much to not be an asshole, so don't be one. I man, but everyone wants to be an asshole. Oops. Well... Let's see, look at the paintings and Jesus. Uh huh. Looks normal. Mm hmm. Hey, cheese. No, you're off. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the normal type of drawings. <sighs> this little princess. Uh, could could you leave me a marker? Well, you're giving me that look again, so I guess I'm just gonna leave. 
kind of creepy thing to say. I mean, god damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <sighs> yeah, the whole family is here. It's interesting that it's just the generic uh, balding dude being the crypt. Whatever. Let's look for the actual solution to this thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired of looking at your dick. Can we look something else? Oh man. Hmm. I was going to see. I can probably do backwards, but it helps. Nope, I cannot even jump. What are those things, anyways? Ah. Oh, you're like on a fumbly, fumbly error. Hello? Oh. <laughs> it looked like someone wants to go into open the door. Anyways. I mean, what else were you want me to look at? Oh. Hey, Source, it's you again. Oh, shit. Y the best thing that I can only mean one thing, classes are over. Clown though. Just like they normally are. Hey man, you heard the bell. You can stop, you can stop doing that. So we got a serial killer who's also a rapist. And I'm shy molester. Well shit. Given the uh <laughs> the nature of the universe, do we want to go into the bathroom? It's locked. And probably for good reason. Ah, oh, man. Oof. This, uh, is kinda heavy. This one's locked. This one's locked. Well, just another day of school, I guess. Oh my god. The library. Ah, hell no! No, nah, man. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, he's... You know what I was going to say? I was going to say he's coming fast. But... I would have set myself up so bad. I guess I'm just gonna go up. Zombie scream, are you sure that's a zombie scream? Oh, the pathing, the pathing! Well, well, what do I say by that? Because I'm thinking he's probably just going to be running forward and just trying to reach me when, when he can't properly. But then I say, oh, this is Half Life, so. <laughs> so things have the proper uh, AI pathing over here. Another dark room, nope. Given the nature of the universe, again, I'm not going into dark rooms. I think it is scared is the least of my worries. <laughs> Are you fucking dick? You can open doors, right? When you walk through that door, I'm getting out of here. Someone laughing and someone crying.
Oh, my boy. Yeah, man, yeah. Where it went? <laughs> he was just drifting in the hallway, come on. Where's the door? Nope. Yeah, you just... I'm probably safe behind this prop door. Uh, maybe not so much as I thought. Am I supposed to be looking for something? Is it always there? Hey man, we're gonna get out of here, right? Real quick. Don't worry about me. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Again, getting spooked is the least of my worries now. Oh, well, what are you stopped? Oh, Jesus Christ! Don't slam the door at me. Oh boy. Oh man, oh boy, <laughs> man. Hello. The hell is that though? You look like. Dude. Can't use. Good. <laughs> you think I cannot use it? Man. Guess I'm just going to move you over here once again. Don't worry about me. Um. Yep. Ah, uh, I hate being in this situation. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. And flash. Okay, gonna flash it. How do I know if he's near? Well, you see the particles just going through the walls. I shouldn't just start shaking the door. <laughs> well, I torture myself with this nightmare. No, I guess I wasn't paying attention to the film effects going on screen. And again, I was a bit more occupied with uh, everything else. Oh boy. Yes, let me go, man. Oh boy. Oh, baby. No. I'm gonna get shanked. Wait, getting shanked will be <laughs> will be the better alternative. Oh no! Sneak by. Oh boy. Is this okay to show on YouTube? Got it. <laughs> can use, can use better, <laughs> better not be able to. Oh boy. I mean, hey man, if you want to get it on in a public bedroom, uh, you leave me out of, you, you leave me out of that, please. Jesus. I think <laughs> I'm going to blur it out. I I risk my channel. I mean, it's not like anyone watches it, but those type of things is just a matter of time before someone does, someone reports it. So, ooh. Uh. Are those bodies? Mm, they kind of look like bodies. 
Oh, another shade of color. Can it be true? Uh, we are finally adding red into the mix. Man, oh man. Uh, I stopped moving. Oh. What? Oh. It's... It's you. Well, I guess I find it rather interesting that that this mod is touching a certain uh, heavy sexual themes. But I did. Oh. <laughs> the timing for that couldn't be better. Oh boy. Thank you for playing Timibra. Oh, I was just about to finish this. And I had to quit it. Well, there, <laughs> there it is. Can we go back to play Hat in Time? <laughs> I feel uncomfort uncomfortably touched. I'm not touched in the, in the manner you like. Thanks for your help and encouragement. John and Chris. And a problem, man. <laughs> John. Richard. Testers. Alessio Andrioli. Philippe Jampin. Michael Mittag, Tobias and Moritz Rudolph, Roman Dietiker or Dietiker, Stefan Huber or Huber, Richard again. Why, Richard? Why you only wanted your first name? Well, no Elias on that. Music and additional soundscapes. Stefan Huber. Translation website college. Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Alexandra with my grateful thanks. A sunspot game. And well, that's Tenebra, or Tenebra, or Tenebra. Well, well, no, no different, uh, no different, uh, you know, open screen, whatever. Well, that's Tenebra. The thing I was about to finish it, but, uh, you know. Anyways, so. Thank you so much for watching. It was an interesting experience. It was short, but straight to the point. It didn't drag for long. 
I think I maybe didn't understood completely this story, but uh, I don't know, it's probably one of those things where you just need to settle down, just give it some time, and eventually you'll, you'll know exactly what happened. But for now, well, once again, thank you for watching. I guess we'll see, we'll see you in uh, whatever source nightmares we jump ourselves into. I wish I could play more Half-Life mods, but, uh, well, I think I should, but I, I think I have a lot on my plate. I guess time to watch it out with some hunting time, though. So, <laughs> I'll see you when I see everyone. Take care.